Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a CVS haul. It looks rather small, but there's a part missing. It's the um, water that was on sale. We got seven cases of that, and that's already out in the garage. So um, I didn't want to load everything inside just to make the video. So we got um, seven big containers of water, the 24 packs. So I'll get into that breakdown in a minute. But I'm just going to go through the breakdowns and show you guys what we spent um, just a quick little overview. Um, we wound up spending, it was $21.90 and then plus tax $22.72 for the seven cases of water, the, uh, two toothpastes, the soup, and then the Neutrogena tea gels. And we got back $5 extra bucks. So I'll do the breakdown of exactly what we did. Um, first starting with the Campbell's, Campbell's soup. This is a basic deal. Oops, sorry, that was mixed up. Um, the soup was on sale for a dollar. Sorry, so you can read it. Um, soup was on sale for a dollar. There's a 50 cent CVS Redbox coupon printing for everybody. So that makes this soup only 50 cents. And I like to use this when I do, um, sorry my hands are really dry. They're super red. It's cold today. Um, I like to use these soups when I do like, um, like a meat stir fry to make it a little bit more juicy. I'll add like cheese and a, a canned meal soup. So I like to go through these. I go through these fairly quickly. Um, next is the Crest and the Colgate. So for the toothpaste deal, um, so the Crest was on sale for $2.99 and I used a $2 manufacturer coupon that were in the inserts last week, making that $0.99. Cents. And then the Colgate was $2.99. And I used a 75 cent off manufacturer coupon that I got off of coupons.com a few weeks ago. And then a $1.50 CVS Colgate coupon, which was on my card, that applied as well, making that 74 cents. And since I bought $6 worth of toothpaste, the $2 CVS Any Toothpaste coupon also applied. So this was actually a 27 cent money maker by purchasing these. I said the last time I got toothpaste, I wasn't going to because... I have uh, I have probably like 10 tubes, but they were free, and then the overage helped pay towards like, you know, the other things. But um, keep that in mind, if you have certain coupons, like if it says specifically Colgate, you can use that one as well as the any toothpaste coupons. So that works out really well. Next, we got the Neutrogena Tea Gel Shampoo. My husband uses this. And it's quite expensive. Um, his dermatologist recommended it. He's prone to getting like boils or like large little cyst like pimples in his scalp if he doesn't use this. So he swears by it. He loves it. So I try to get it when I can get it for cheap. So they're normally $7.49. We got two of them. So that was $14.98. Since they weren't on sale, my 30% off beauty coupon applied as well as a $3 off 15 hair care coupon. Even though it's not quite $15, it's in that threshold of being, I, get, I think it's like, I forgot exactly how much you have to be towards that amount that you need, but so $14.98 counts as $15, so you get the $3 off. So after my discounts, it was $7.49 for two of them, or $3.75 each, which is a great deal, so they were half off each, which you can't beat. Now the water, I got um, seven 24 packs at $2.44 which came to $17.08. And then there was a dollar and twenty cent a dollar and twenty cent bottle deposit on each package, which was eight dollars and forty cents, making my grand total for the bottle of water bottle water twenty five dollars and forty eight cents. I got five dollars extra extra bucks back. On the steel you had to spend fifteen dollars in mortar and that's before tax and deposits are considered. So if I would have bought six, it only would have been $14. So I had to get the seven. So I got back the $5 extra bucks, and that brought my total down to $20.48, or $2.92 per 24-pack, which is an amazing deal. Um, we have Our whole house is purified, all the faucets and the showers and everything, but we also have a burner purifier, a large one that's 18 cups in our, our kitchen. Um, it's in the refrigerator. So we tend to use these like regular water at our house you know in a cup not in a bottle but I like to always keep a bottle in my purse I usually have a bottle of water next to my bed and I refill it for a few days and then toss it and then when we have parties and stuff for people over I like to have extra bottle of water around so we have seven cases so that should be good for at least next like two or three months I'd say which is a great deal so overall um 
my, my larger scale breakdown is I used $2.75 in manufacturer coupons. I used $14 in extra bucks that I had from previous transactions or that CVS emailed me this week that I added onto my card. And then I used $9.79 in CVS coupons, which includes the ones like the 30% off beauty coupon, the dollar uh, fifty off Colgate, the two dollar off toothpaste, those type of CVS coupons that I preloaded onto my card, or that were printed on previous receipts. So I spent um, twenty two dollars and seventy two cents. I saved thirty nine dollars and forty eight cents. So my total savings was sixty four percent, and I got back five dollars extra bucks to put towards next week's purchase. So overall, it was a pretty good deal. And just so you guys can see, if you're new with CVS couponing, this is how the breakdown of the receipt looks. Um, so you see, you know, the, these are all the waters. And then you see how the $3 off 15 shampoo coupon was applied, as well as the 30% off. And then same thing for these two. That's the other Neutrogena. So the um, manufacturer coupon, that was for the Crest. This manufacturer coupon was for the Colgate. The CVS manufacturer coupon was an extra buck. The quarterly extra buck was also extra buck. The CVS coupon, that was an extra buck. And the $2 manufacturer coupon was also an extra buck. Then the, here shows the $3 off 15 shampoo coupon, $2 off two toothpaste coupon, $1.50 off Colgate coupon, $0.50 cents off Campbell's soup coupon, and then the save 30% on a beauty purchase, which was $2.79. So overall, not too bad. Um, so far, um, now that not the new year started, I, I like seeing how much I saved. Like, at the end of December, it shows you like how much you have saved for the year kind of thing. Um, but this is the first time I've really been there since um, the new year. I haven't been there earlier in the week but um yeah so like i showed you guys make sure you check your cvs coupons and um you know there's plenty of great websites and youtubers who do these matchups for you and tell you basically what to buy so if you go ahead and do that you can definitely get some really good deals like free toothpaste 50 cent soup things that you use are normally expensive make sure you save your 30 percent off coupons and use that when they're not on sale because you usually wind up getting them um a little bit cheaper i had all these extra bucks that were expiring because i didn't do a big haul last week either at cvs i just did some christmas clearance so i had some that were going to expire next week so i figured um just use them up and i know we're, we're we're down to one of these left my husband's almost done with the one in the shower and i had one as a backup so i know we need these now he'll be set for the least next two months on this because he doesn't use it, oh, excuse me, um, he doesn't use it every day, he uses it like twice a week, so then he'll alternate with like whatever shampoo I give him to use in his shower, so um, luckily, because being these are expensive, it's not like a daily thing for him, but um, yeah, and then the case of the water was a great deal, so definitely check those things out, so um, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.